everywhere that I go. Everybody's rocking when they come to the Otto Show. Come on! I was just kind of always drawn to music from the time I was a little kid. Um, I think literally like bouncing in the cradle to it. So it was, it was one of those things that it's always been a constant in my life. Well, I was four when I started singing, but uh, going out in public singing, uh, I got into uh, what was called the Red River Boys Choir in North Dakota. And it was basically, uh, they went around to all the schools in, in the city and found kids that were interested in music. The teacher there uh, really thought that I had something going on, and that was really my only vocal training. Well, I, I kind of grew up all over the, um, the states because my dad uh, was stationed in Fort Lewis, Washington when I was born. And, and uh, my folks divorced when I was around three. My mom and I went to live in North Dakota with my grandparents. And then I moved to Alabama for a couple years with my mom. And uh, that's kind of where I discovered country music. What's the point in fighting what we're feeling? We both know we'll never win. I'm deeply influenced by all kinds of music, um, not just country music. Country music was what I found like in, in junior high. That was, and it stuck with me from then on out. But. Uh, prior to that, and even after that, I, I, I listened to a lot of Van Halen, ZZ Top, and, and things like that, but also, you know, Prince and, and just about everything that was on Top 40 radio. I listened to all of it and, and was influenced by a lot of it. And uh, later on in life, I kind of found uh, soul music and was really influenced by like Otis Redding and Ray Charles and, and uh, um, you know, and then, then found those influences in country music as well when I started looking back. And, um, you know, music just in general, I'm always looking for something to inspire me. Uh. You know, the Nashville community actually has played a big, big part in my life. Five years of uh, writing songs and, and recording really led up to the album Sunset Man. It's, uh, it took a long time. You know, working with John Rich has been an, an awesome experience. I've learned a lot from John because uh, I, he hears, it seems like, everything prior to it going down on tape. James Otto is one of those singers that was born to sing. He doesn't, he didn't have to learn how to sing, nobody taught him anything. He just, his DNA is built to sing, period. In the studio with James, you really uh, have to be careful how you mic James, because his voice is so powerful and so huge that he tends to override a lot of mics. Just a real honor, honestly, to be able to record a voice that great. Jada Marcus and I basically uh, started writing songs on holidays and stuff when we were together. Well, when I finally heard James sing, uh, I went to a Music Mafia event uh, a couple of years ago. When I finally heard him sing, and I heard what that guy could do with his voice, uh, very few singers come along that actually move me and make me want to uh, get to a point to where I can be involved with him. And when you have somebody as talented as he is and a fine, fine singer like he is, it was just a natural thing. I wanted to get in the studio and make records with you know, with talented people, and he was uh, definitely up at the top of the list. And I ain't gonna stop till I drop. 